Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The internet is buzzing with the news that the U.S. scientists have announced a new hydrogen jet engine with hypersonic speed. Over the course of aviation history, jet engines have played a pivotal role in driving significant advancements that have transformed air travel. These remarkable machines have enabled us to transcend the limitations of time and distance, effectively bridging vast distances in just a matter of hours. Today we are going to take a captivating journey through the evolution of jet engines, starting from their early days in aviation and progressing to the cutting-edge innovations that hold the potential to shape the future of air travel. We would find out what is new in this hydrogen jet engine and how it is going to transform the world of aviation. Let's get in. Jet engines are truly fascinating pieces of technology. It all begins with the compressor, which acts like a set of fans, squeezing air into a smaller space. This process pressurizes and superheats the air, and this super hot and pressurized air enters the combustor, where it mingles with jet fuel. When ignited, it results in a powerful explosion, releasing energy. This energy causes the air to rapidly expand and rush out of the back of the engine, but here's where it gets even cooler. As the hot air exits, it passes through a turbine. This turbine is a clever device that captures some of the energy from the hot air and uses it to power the front fans, keeping the entire process going. After sharing its energy with the turbine, the rest of the hot air shoots out of the back of the engine like a powerful jet, propelling the airplane forward and allowing it to soar through the sky. In simple terms, the engine starts by compressing air, mixing it with fuel to create an explosion that keeps the plane in the air. The story of this remarkable innovation began in the early 20th century, as aviation was in its infancy and the limitations of traditional piston engines were becoming evident. Sir Frank Whittle and Dr. Hans von Ohain, British and German visionaries respectively, independently conceived the concept of a jet engine in the 1930s. Both were driven by the idea of harnessing the power of jet propulsion to move aircraft forward. Sir Frank Whittle, born in 1907, drafted the first patent for a jet engine in 1930, based on his insights into gas turbine technology. Despite skepticism and challenges, he remained dedicated to his idea. Across the English Channel, Dr. Hans von Ohain was working on a similar concept in Germany. In 1937, Whittle achieved a significant milestone by successfully constructing and testing the world's first operational jet engine marking the beginning of a new era in aviation. These two inventors, though separated by distance and circumstance, shared an unmistakable vision for the future of flight. They created Whittle's jet engine, also known as the Duity U or Whittle unit, that was a groundbreaking piece of engineering. It consisted of a centrifugal compressor, a combustion chamber, and a turbine meticulously designed to efficiently convert fuel energy into forward thrust. This breakthrough demonstrated that jet propulsion was not just a theory, but a practical reality. Jet engines offered numerous advantages over piston engines. They had higher thrust-to-weight ratios, resulting in faster and more agile aircraft. They eliminated the need for propellers, reducing drag and enhancing aerodynamic performance. Additionally, jet engines operated more smoothly, providing a quieter and more comfortable flying experience. Before World War II, Aviation primarily relied on propeller-driven aircraft, which had limitations in speed and maneuverability. Recognizing the need for advanced aircraft, both Britain and Germany saw the strategic importance of jet propulsion in military aviation. Britain established Powerjet Limited to develop and manufacture jet engines based on Whittle's designs, while Germany saw the historic flight of the world's first jet-powered aircraft, the Heinkel He 178, in 1939. During the war, the Messerschmitt Me 262 or Schwalbe emerged as an iconic aircraft with turbojet engines outpacing contemporary Allied fighters. Its operational debut in 1944 signified a new era in aerial warfare, offering superior speed and agility. The Gloucester Meteor, Britain's response to the Me 262, became the first Allied jet fighter in operational service. Post-World War II, jet engine development shifted towards commercial aviation. The introduction of the de Havilland Comet in 1952, the world's first jet-powered commercial airliner, 
marked a milestone, setting the stage for faster travel, enhanced passenger comfort, and reduced travel times in a new era of air travel. The de Havilland Comet, a remarkable British creation, played a pioneering role in the advent of commercial jet travel. It took its first flight in 1952, signifying a groundbreaking advancement in aviation technology. This sleek and innovative aircraft was equipped with four de Havilland Ghost turbojet engines and featured a pressurized cabin, ensuring passenger comfort at high altitudes. The Comet was a significant investment for airlines, but it quickly demonstrated its economic feasibility. Its efficiency and speed led to reduced operating costs and increased revenue potential. Airlines that embraced this jet technology gained a competitive edge in the industry as passengers preferred the speed and comfort of jet travel. However, despite its initial successes, the de Havilland Comet faced some major challenges and setbacks. In its early years of operation, a series of tragic accidents raised concerns about its structural integrity. Investigations revealed design flaws related to the square-shaped windows and the stresses during pressurization cycles, which resulted in catastrophic accidents and a loss of public confidence in the aircraft. In response to these issues, the de Havilland Company redesigned the Comet to address the structural concerns. Unfortunately, by this time, American manufacturers, notably Boeing and Douglas, had entered the commercial jet market with their offerings. In 1958, Boeing introduced the iconic 707, a long-range jetliner, while Douglas unveiled the DC-8. These American-made jetliners quickly gained widespread acceptance and trust among airlines and passengers. The Boeing 707, for instance, offered various configurations and seating arrangements, making it versatile for different airline needs. With its four powerful turbojet engines, the 707 could easily cover long distances, making it suitable for transcontinental and intercontinental flights. The success of these early jetliners spurred significant advancements in jet engine technology. Engine manufacturers like Pratt, Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and General Electric competed to develop more powerful and efficient engines. These advancements resulted in engines with higher thrust-to-weight ratios, reduced fuel consumption, and improved reliability. The shift from turbojet engines to turbofan engines marked another significant milestone in aviation history. This technological shift laid the foundation for contemporary jetliners, seamlessly combining the advantages of jet propulsion with the efficiency reminiscent of a propeller. Turbo engines, such as turbochargers in internal combustion engines and turbofan engines in aviation, offer several distinct advantages. They significantly enhance power and efficiency. In internal combustion engines, a turbocharger forces more air into the chamber, allowing for better fuel combustion and increased power output, resulting in improved acceleration and overall performance without the need for a larger engine. The high-bypass turbofan engines used in modern commercial aviation are particularly noteworthy. They efficiently generate thrust while also serving as a noise reduction mechanism. The bypass ratio, a critical parameter, represents the ratio of air that bypasses the core to the air passing through it. High bypass engines have a bypass ratio exceeding 5, meaning that more air flows around the core than through it. Two exemplary high bypass turbo fan engines that have left a significant impact on the industry are the General Electric CFM56 and the Pratt & Whitney PW1000G. The CFM56 engine family is renowned for its reliability and efficiency, powering popular aircraft like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families. The PW1000G, with its innovative geared turbofan technology, enhances fuel efficiency and reduces noise, benefiting aircraft such as the Airbus A320neo and Embraer E-Jet E2 series. While subsonic commercial flight is prevalent today, the pursuit of faster air travel continues with hypersonic engines, capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5. Innovations like scramjets and combined cycle engines offer a glimpse into the future of rapid, long-distance travel. Pratt & Amp, Whitney's F-135 engine, powering the F-35 Lightning aircraft, combines high power with a low bypass ratio, delivering impressive thrust and fuel efficiency. Looking forward, the Chimera engine, a turbine-based combined cycle engine, represents the next step in engine sophistication. 
It powers the Quarter Horse, a high-speed aircraft using a hybrid approach that combines elements of turbojet and ramjet engines. This allows it to function efficiently at various speeds, even surpassing the speed of sound. In 2021, the Air Force awarded a $60 million contract to Hermaeus for the development of three uncrewed concept aircraft, including the hypersonic Quarter Horse. By late November 2022, Hermaeus had successfully produced its hypersonic engine, taking us a step closer to realizing this groundbreaking technology. The aviation industry is actively exploring ways to create more fuel-efficient and eco-friendly engines. This includes using alternative fuels, advanced materials, and cutting-edge engine designs to reduce emissions and carbon footprints. One exciting avenue being explored is electric and hybrid propulsion systems, which offer quieter, cleaner, and more sustainable air travel. However, there are unique challenges when it comes to hydrogen jet engines. Hydrogen in liquid form requires extremely low temperatures to remain stable. To address this, hydrogen jet engines use highly insulated tanks with integrated cooling systems to keep hydrogen liquid at a bone-chilling minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. Safety measures are in place to prevent sparks or flames from reaching the hydrogen fuel, and rapid shutdown capabilities exist in case of leaks or malfunctions. A recent example of a hydrogen jet engine is the Rolls-Royce F-130 dual-pod engine, chosen by the U.S. Air Force to power B-52 Stratofortress bombers. It boasts impressive fuel efficiency, approximately 30% better than its predecessors, and requires fewer maintenance hours. Additionally, it helps reduce emissions, particularly nitrogen oxides, a significant contributor to air pollution. Nevertheless, a significant challenge lies in establishing large-scale manufacturing facilities for these engines. The manufacturing process is intricate, involving advanced materials, precision machining, and automation. Each component is carefully crafted to withstand extreme operational conditions. Extensive testing procedures are underway for these jet engines to ensure their reliability and performance under demanding conditions, including extreme temperatures and pressures. The future looks promising as these technologies continue to develop and refine, potentially steering in an era of enhanced efficiency, power, and sustainability in aviation. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.